Well, very good morning, MEC. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, let's uh, give us a, a bit of a backstory here as to why you took this action to dissolve uh, these two associations, associations, first of all. Firstly, let me greet you and um, uh, the viewers, and thank you very much for the opportunity. So, and uh, also confirm to the viewers that um, we, I did take a decision to place the two taxi associations um, under administration, they operate in Soweto. And this followed um, incidences of violence in which two people were killed on the water side. And a week or a few days thereafter, two people were killed on the Nandue side. And when I met with the parties to try to find out what exactly led to the killings, each side blamed the other. And with threats, that the violence was going to escalate. And you can imagine these two taxi associations are well known for violence. Last year, 2019, uh, March to June, they were not operating because they were closed down. Uh, their taxi ranks uh, were shut down precisely because of violence. We resolved it, signed an agreement, and now it was beginning to, to, to rear its ugly head again. And the concern really was that um, if this violence is not acted upon promptly and swiftly, two things could happen. Firstly, it will destabilize Soweto. And it will have a negative impact on commuters who, you know, even under conditions of COVID-19, people have to travel, medical attention, collection of medi medicine, and uh, all other activities that co uh, commuters do. And you can also imagine if there's no proper public transport, you could also have people having to hike in vehicles that, um, yeah. you know, could even expose people to all sorts of things. Now, now MEC, MEC, please talk to us about the, the if you could please uh, talk to us about the two administrators you've appointed and how empowered are they? So the two administrators, Mr. Butelezi, who is a background, his, whose background is an attorney, and Mr. Ekstien, who is also an attorney, uh, they are literally going to take care of the activities of the two associations, like they assume full responsibility of an executive committee. The viewers might recall we had at some point announced that the two as, um, main leading associations of mother bodies in the province, Santago and uh, GNTA, had actually signed a resolution with us that says, where there's violence, instability, threat to life, we could place this as access to administration. That is the affiliates. So, and we took this and made the decision of a court to give it more power. So the power that they have and the extent to which they can intervene is firstly that they are assuming the role of the entire executive, and secondly, they are empowered by a court order, and the fact that they've been appointed by the MEC, I guess, also, that brings with it their uh, authority, and we have already talked to the associations, they've agreed, and their mother bodies as well, so we don't anticipate any problem. In actual fact, if I were to say to you, from what our, we were told was going to happen, what we had expected, Mm -hmm. to the calm and relative stability we have now, I can already be saying to you the administration is proving to be working because we could have had a worse situation by now. Uh, now, MEC, let me read something for you. Nandu, as Secretary uh, Dumisani Mpungo, say he came out and said, uh, speaking about yourself, uh, he has the powers, but he must know that we are not elected by him, but by our members, which uh, I have to ask you the question. Uh, you're saying it's working at the moment, but uh, you, you, with statements like this, do you think it will continue working? Because they're basically saying, listen, you know what? You, can, you, you have the powers to do so, and you can do so, but on the ground, we are the people on the ground. We run this thing. Yes, yeah, so let me just say that um, obviously when you remove people from uh, executive positions, they will certainly, and it's expected, there will be those concerns. But um, as I, what I was saying that it's already working is we haven't had uh, violence and revenge and all that thus far. But um, what Mr. Mpongo is saying, he is actually the chairman, as far as I know. Mm -hmm. um, 
he is really expressing a, an important point because we can't, even if there's an administration, you need members to cooperate. So the cooperation of members, it's important. But uh, I think what is not in doubt here, and I think clearly from what you're saying, is that yes, they've accepted uh, the, the administration. Of course, they'll have this and that concern. But from what where we stay, we stay. From where I stand is, we have to make sure all of us, including them, that there's no bloodshed in Soweto, there's no instability, and we don't inconvenience commuters. The issues of powers, members, roles and responsibilities, all those issues will be solved. But as of now, I am very much pleased. There are no problems currently. And I would like to extend this to all other taxi associations and to all leaders and to strongly warn them that should they show signs that borders on instability, internal fights, threat to life and violence, we will not hesitate to remove them from the executive positions they are holding, take over their bank accounts, their resources, because we know when there's violence, they don't use their own personal money to pay the killers. They use resources of members of associations. And I would like to strongly, strongly warn the taxi industry that if they do show signs that are worrying, we will not hesitate to act on them. And I therefore plead with them to refrain from acts of violence, threat to life, and to maintain stability. This is the economic hub of our country. And we cannot afford that any part of this province be plunged into a mini war zone. So to that extent, we are very clear. And thanks, they've agreed to that. But I'm warning all of them, they must be very careful because we are ready to act and act decisively without fear of fame or freedom. Okay, strong words the MEC. Lastly, I have to ask you about the uh, Commission of Inquiry that was appointed to tackle uh, taxi violence in Gauteng. Where are you with that? You know, I must commend the Commission of Inquiry. They are doing an excellent job. Um, and I'll give you an example. The, <clears throat> the Commission has already identified almost more than a thousand cases. And these are cases, uh, specific cases, of killings that are outstanding. And they went out on their own and used the, you know, their tools and techniques to to search these cases, to find these cases. So we now know how much cases have not been resolved. It means perpetrators have not been arrested. But on the positive side, I want to say to you that in the last uh, two weeks, this week, uh, and of course towards the end of last week, I have been receiving reports from the South African Police Service, SAPS, in which they are reporting about successful operations to arrest uh, perpetrators, and secondly, successful prosecution with uh, the criminal justice system as a whole. And that is different because we used to receive cases of killings. Now we are receiving cases of successful law enforcement operations to bring perpetrators to court. So the point I'm trying to make is the Commission of Inquiry is unraveling witnesses in the system, is pointing out specific details of cases not resolved. But we are now seeing a, you know, the pendulum has swung very positively uh -huh. um, in the sense that uh, we're now seeing police um, now coming out to report successful operations. So I also want to commend the police. Okay. That so I wish that this more than 1,000 cases we could actually see some swift action to actually go to the bottom of what happened and why were these case, uh, perpetrators not arrested. But I think the men and women in, 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 in the good uniform of SAPS, um, I think they are really doing an excellent job. And I think this time uh -huh. uh, I must commend them and wish them that they could do even 10 times more 
All right, MEC. What we are doing to we're, protect. We're, we're going uh, to have we're going to have to leave it there, MEC. Thanks. Uh, thank you so much for bringing us up to speed with what's going on uh, there. The Gauteng Public Transport MEC, Jacob Mamabolo, talking to us about uh, the uh, administrators he's appointed to run uh, the two feuding taxi associations and also uh, the commission of inquiry that was appointed to tackle taxi violence in the province.